Hello and welcome people back to more grinding in Stretch Panic because, well, uh, I found out there is one more uh, Titty Lady area that I still haven't visited and, you know, we can't left a Titty unturned. That's just, that's just not how we do things. It's not how you do things. Or you could go on that number four door. Yeah, later. That. that is the hardest boss of the game. Uh. Hey, ice. Yes, we need slippery physics in our uncontrollable game, right? Yes, sounds perfect. This is actually probably one of the best areas to uh, farm for points, simply because there are just so many... Uh, there are just so many titty ladies to uh, pinch around these parts. And also, the area looks pretty straightforward, too. Yes, exactly. It's n it's nothing like that uh, other place where I had no fucking clue how to, get, uh, how to even get anywhere. And we almost got body slammed. Why do they never change expression? Uh, don't ask me. I stopped trying to look for any sense in this. But, Whatever but... it is. God damn it, every story has a sense. You have to just find it. But at a certain point, you have to give up. Like Linda here. Yeah. Oh, fucking no. There you go. Good job, Nate. There you go. You. Oh, man. Did, did, how, why was it not doing damage those times? Was it because she was flashing? Yes. Weirdly enough, okay, that look. never counts for m That never seems to count for me. Like you remember how I was thrown off a uh, thrown off an, a ledge, got uh -huh. uh, got yellow damage, and then immediately jabbed by the thing, and we rec yes. received the red damage. Yeah. But oh, uh, these guys—they get invincibility frames. Sheesh. Probably Linda still just doesn't have what it takes to have invincibility frames. Either that or Linda's way too nice, even if she is fighting vanity demons. Yeah, that's also entirely possible. I mean, she has a hat that's like ten different things. <laughs> to be fair, and that's always hat. nice. Mm -hmm. I don't think you would want to go that way. <laughs> Just yeah, yeah exactly. Don't, don't don't do that. In the end, I do not. No, don't do it. What are you doing, you fool? Oh, okay. In the end, I do not explore this entire area simply because till the end of the game, I'm not gonna need any more points. Hey, a new blue enemy, and they died. Well, ah. I guess that wasn't the creator's most favorite color. Indeed. We know that they like red and black. Th those are the those are the strongest Sometimes titty green. ladies. And the most prominent colors in this game. Mm-hmm. Well, first we're gonna go to the five um, thingamajigs door. Simply because this boss is. Why would you go to the five door for? Simply because this boss is a lot easier. At this point, That's I had failed. Uh, at this point, I, I had failed the four uh, door boss so many times. I was kind of pissed off, so I just decided to go uh, to the five door. I don't know why, but this looks like something from I don't know Mega Man. If it's from Mega Man, I can't think of a way. Damn it! 
Yes, I adore nope. this. Damn it. Wait, you that stack. Oh shit. Dude, whoa. Back off. Yes. This attack is actually. I was about to say, can, can you stretch the sand tornado? That would have been off. Actually, you technically can. Really? However. Oh, yes, you will see. You can do it directly, though. Um, that attack is actually her biggest weakness. Uh, uh, it's good to. Um, it's good to keep around this little lake, is what I'm gonna say for now. And there is all uh, there's that, honestly she didn't so much laugh. There is honestly no reason for you to go anywhere else. Simply because well you can even go into the lake because there are no water physics or anything like it. You only get distorted view. And now she absorbs the water. And now we can stretch the tornado. Huh. Yeah, and what I what I also find really really cool is that uh, the color of the sky changes slightly when the rain is falling. Like you know, it becomes slightly darker. Yeah. And also, for and also for the time uh, that the. Uh, for the, uh, for the duration of the rain, I don't believe, uh, yeah, you can't access her weakness, but I don't think she she will even do the uh, tornado attack this fast. So, you don't really need to worry about that. What you do need to worry about is those random-ass uh, blockers for some reason. Look, water. Do it. Yeah, I don't know where the where the thing is. Why did you wander away from the lake? Why did you do that? Because the camera is pointing at everywhere but the ground. But yeah, the well, clearly uh, you should have walked into this. Okay. Hey. The, ef uh, the effect on the desert is actually really, uh, really nicely done. Like with this, uh, with the dunes blowing around and stuff. And for some reason that didn't, uh, that didn't hit me. I guess I was on a different elevation. Huh. Water physics. Buddha thunk. Physics in this game. Yes. Written with an F. No, I've covered other games that have had those kinds of physics. <laughs> You're just your gesture to to say that over and over. It's. Well, at this point, uh, I just want to get her to uh, to the point where I hit her one more time with the tornado attack, or just you know, in general, you attacking her with the. Door right now and that doesn't work very well because for some reason uh, she's not quite as easy to hit as the jester lady. Well, she just feels her own fate. Exactly. I don't actually know what will happen if you go into the tornado. I would assume you get uh, red damaged. Probably. Cool. Linda is quite uh, quite a badass. More like she's just oblivious to everything around her. Considering the nature of the game, though, that's not surprising. I mean, she wouldn't survive if she just didn't give a fuck. And here we teleport to my 15th attempt at beating the four-door boss. Ooh, spooky. Oh yes, 
This boss is actually quite spooky and uh, one thing I will say The best way of approaching it Get headphones It will make sense uh, it, will, it will make it will make more sense Because when you're uh, when you're gonna uh, if you're playing this just on your TV without the headphones this fight is just complete randomness Okay. However, with the headphones, you can easily tell where, uh, where he's moving around. Here, just fucking pinch so what, him. Does she hide and you have to find her or something? Yes. However, um, yeah, it, this fight is incredibly random. Like, sometimes you will see him... Uh, running around be, uh, behind the things and sometimes he will just randomly teleport to one of the doors what doesn't help is that each, each and every door can only survive uh, free attacks by the fourth one he breaks through and one hit kills you damn and it's pretty random too because uh, he can literally you can be just unlucky, and he will go for the same door four times in a row. And what also doesn't help is you have to literally be at the spot in order to actually, uh, in order to actually be able to counter attack or like prevent uh, prevent him from attacking. In any case, uh, here. There are two windows like that, uh, one of which will display a hanging person, as you may have seen uh, a minute before. And another one will, uh, on the other side, will, uh, will be him. It, what is nice, however, he will uh, he'll always wait for you. What is not nice, you, uh, like, with those doors, with those doors, you have to be incredibly particular about uh, where you're actually aiming at. Because you see how big those uh, blocks on the doors are, right? You have to move... you have to hit around them. It may not sound... Uh, it may not sound so difficult, but uh, with the controls this game has, you know... Right. And this is this is probably like the only time I actually managed to do it correctly. I like how he in in super slow mo says, "Damn it!" Damn it! And here you see the hang person, and on the other side it's him. Thankfully, he gives you a shitload of time to react. Well, otherwise it would just be plain unfair. This fight is unfair. I j here, I just got really, really incredibly lucky with him just going, uh, with him just showing himself this way so many times. This game is unfair. It is. And here, again, on other tries, uh, like, it, he would appear... Oh, and we've actually seen the, the doors materialize. On other, uh, on other attempts, he would just go four times for the same door and never show himself in, you know, the, uh, in any of the windows. And here we will see what happens if you actually do get attacked by him. That was pretty fucking spooky.